Welcome to TradeTheNBI.com. This is John. This report is for the 2nd of February. Well, there it was, the 50% marker, 45, uh, 10 range above that, clearly bullish. Uh, it was interesting because uh, early part of the day, uh, there was a lot of uh, battle back and forth before breaking above that and moving into the CDSC. The uh, MBI uh, also uh, with Magenta clearly over uh, yellow as well as uh, the white, though finally perking up. So that could be interesting as those two begin to meet. We'll look at it from the NASDAQ, but with the green writing over cyan and cyan not making a turn up, uh, all the things were bullish from red DSC with orange below, all the things that we look at for positive continuation. And we can see, even though there was a spike up of uh, white MBI, clear magenta still rising, uh, likewise uh, the green over cyan. So all of those things were in connection. And uh, well, the NQ is still behind uh, from the NASDAQ standpoint, it is catching up a bit, so uh, it's got a lot more work to do to, to get to parity, but um, if we see weakness, that's going to be an interesting one uh, to see if that uh, S&P falls faster than the NASDAQ to even it out, uh, that would be the expectation for a parity standpoint. Gold slowly eking its way back up. It's going to take a little while. The euro took a nice bounce off the uh, continued calming, suggesting that uh, now the U.S. is not going to raise rates, uh, at least in any effective way. The outside forces of that, though, may force the hand, and this is it right here. Uh, oil continuing to push towards the upper bound of its limit with the brakes above that, which clearly looks like it's still doing. Um, could see some softness here. Now we've got uh, MBI white, but still far away from red before cross and magenta is still above 33 so that's all still within the bullish camp and from a bond standpoint again this is going to put the pressure on there as it continues to drop and the uh, rate uh, uh, continue to rise at least from a market standpoint even if the fit doesn't cooperate that's still going to have an impact on it uh, for bitcoin had that nice uh, little long setup there put in another one but uh, a little sell off that took place later in there close that one out for just a Minus a uh, little flat trade, uh, waiting for a turnaround move uh, one way or another. It would be interesting to see because uh, Magenta's got a move above uh, the MBI yellow right there. Otherwise, you're going to have a meeting of uh, white and Magenta. And that would probably be more on the bear side of it, even though at this point the deal Mega did a nice spider, but spiders on the bullish side where uh, uh, green rising above sign and uh, the sign is still up uh, near the zero just right under by almost one um, not anywhere near the extreme levels uh, that we're seeing from the uh, S&P and the NASDAQ from a 50k standpoint while well, that buy from that 4351 uh, algo level and we based off the next algo level we're going to just completely tore from that particular spot so it's been a continuation from that move and here's what I was talking about from a 5K standpoint. So early on, we had the uh, bouncing back and forth within the range, and the upper side was the 4520 down with the 4485, and kind of fluctuated with slightly below it, then that caught a bid, and then it was a secondary pivot uh, on a higher level right at the 4485, and the gentle took over from there, and that uh, began to push towards 100% zone. And kept elevating that uh, left the uh, break above that uh, 4520 until very late in the day and then once it started um, that's been the course of most of the last several days is this late buying uh, out of those kicking in and just uh, driving it through to the top because overall during the day there was plenty of short opportunity uh, and a little bit of long as well back and forth but that late in the day and once it was about that 4520, that was uh, all it took me to see it after hours of continuation of that push uh, higher. A lot of positive extremes. You can see down here, and then going all the way back to the uh, early part of the breakout at the 4520. So on weakness, that's what I would expect to fill back into. So we will continue to keep an eye out for that. As always, though, I've been on a Skype chat and updating you with uh, a continuation of the adjustments that I'm making. As always, though, trade well and talk to you later.